Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footy's Team 2, Footy's Week 2 is here today. Can EA somehow turn this promo around, guys? They got another opportunity today with Team 2 of Footy's players coming into packs, replacing Team Number 1, but more importantly, more SBCs and objectives themed around footies. We're going to cover all the leaks, content expectations, and how the market might move today on a promo Friday. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start really quickly with yesterday's content because there were a few interesting things yesterday. First of all, an SBC player that was not leaked at all. Bit of a surprise. Galino, the Porto left wing Brazilian player, 99 pace. Um, not a premium card. I think that's the biggest disappointment with this item, but at least it is cheap. 35,000 coins to do, so if that interests you, it is there. The bigger news is, though, especially impacting the fodder market, the 81-plus tradable team of the week and the tradable team of the season pack returned, and oh boy, did it return. Exactly the same requirements, but you can do it three times a day. Yes, it resets every single day for the next 50 days, basically three times a day. And that has got team of the week and team of the season prices on the market going down. I'm glad that we really didn't invest and we were waiting to see what was happening with those. We'll look about that or talk about that later in the video as we look towards fodder. Now, also, we had some interesting movements and objectives. First of all, new XP. If you guys missed this yesterday, I dropped it. Content, I guess Thursdays are the new days where we can expect XP for the week. And this isn't that massive um, of an XP set, but there's an interesting kind of uh, note of this is that an icon foot birthday Eusebio loan SBC is going to be coming out on Monday, the 31st. That would make us assume that also the full SBC for a foot birthday Eusebio is going to drop on Monday as well with the loan being a part of that SBC itself. So that's kind of an interesting thing that EA threw out there. If you see foot birthday Eusebio trending on Footbin, that is why. And also, I don't know if any of you guys noticed this, but the weekly objectives I um, did not complete my weekly objectives for XP before Division Rivals Rewards yesterday, but if you did, it reset, and now you can do these objectives again. This is a bit of a problem, I think, because I finished my play three stars or whatever it is, get three stars in moments, so I completed this objective set after yesterday at Rivals Rewards, and it didn't reset for me right away, and it's not resetting for me until next Thursday. So I think that's a little bit problematic. Uh, EA should probably fix that so that they get refreshed right away but that's kind of everything that happened yesterday on the on the game marquee matchups of course as well bit of a quieter day but that's usually how thursdays are now let's roll into talking about footies day two or week two today we've had a 99 rated christian ronaldo are we going to get a 99 rated Messi today? It would only seem right. We have no loading screen. We have no leaks as of right now. No information besides these Team 1 cards are going out of packs. Now, once again, I want to make it fully known and, again, remind you guys, the best of with Team of the Year, Dino, Pirlo, and all those guys are staying in packs today, guys, right? Those are not going away. They are staying. It is only the footies cards that are going away. Now, what kind of what type of footies cards could we see today, right? There's probably going to be some leaks as we get closer and closer to content. I would be um, probably expecting some more footies heroes. We've only had one footies hero, Tim Cahill, as an SBC. EA might take the opportunity to drop some heroes today in packs. Obviously, some more premium footies and regular footies players in packs, we're assuming, just like there was in Team 1. And then, again, I think a 99-rated Messi is probably possible. I mean, I would love if it was an SBC, right? I think a lot of us would love that. A lot of us would have loved the 99 Ronaldo as an SBC. But uh, it seems like they're going to be dropping the best of the best footies cards in packs and that uh, instead we're not going to have those guys as SBC. So watch out for some more very expensive and probably difficult to pack footies cards in packs today. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's kind of really what we expect for cards in packs. Not a lot to expect right now because we don't have any leaks or don't know. Uh, but honestly, that's the biggest L part of footies anyway. So we're going to turn our eyes towards objectives and SBCs because that's where the hype really has been. We've had a decent amount of solid player SBCs during footy so far, and it started off really well last Friday with Hyun Min Sun Premium Footies SBC. I would expect a pretty solid SBC today as well. During footies in the past couple of years, the Friday player SBCs have kind of been heightened, right, to kind of bring the hype in for a promo Friday. Hopefully today we get a really good player SBC 
as well. I would have to imagine it's going to be a premium card. And for that reason, we're going to have to take a look at fodder, which we'll mention a little bit later in today's video too. So watch out for that player SBC today. And then of course, we've got our actual, the refreshed um, SBCs, usually our upgrade packs, you know, they don't refresh on our, we, we usually aren't able to do them on our promo Friday. But today, the 84 times 10 and the 86 plus player pick both refresh today, so we'll be able to open those for the brand new team of footies cards that's going to be in packs. That's a W. I'm a fan of that. GG's EA. And then, of course, speaking of footies cards, the last place we'll probably find them today will be in objectives with Goosens. I believe Goosens is going away today. He is. Somebody new should be replacing him inside of here with maybe just a little bit of XP available with that as well. Now, another interesting thing to note is the cup is also going away today. And so is the cup game mode. So I hope they do another cup for week two of footies that would help the grind with more upgrade packs and, you know, something to do as well. But the game mode itself and this objective are both going away. So we'll see if they refresh anything there today. And then really one of the only leaks that we have right now that could be a part of content today is, I mean, it's not even really a leak. It's EA posted on their Instagram about this cover star icon, right? We talked about this for the past couple of days. The name of the car design changed and EA themselves are now posting about it on their Instagram of all places. Really interesting. But they posted this car design. They said coming soon to SBC's and objectives, and this could be a part of content today as well. Now, we actually know, confirmed by EA, that this car design is uh, going to be Roberto Carlos. That's going to be the player that we get with this car design because there was some code added just a couple hours ago, and Roberto Carlos cover star icon loan is one of the packs that is in the code. Now, it's an interesting pack. It contains 10 players, 85 or above, and then one Brazilian player, from Team of the Season, Tots Moments, Shapeshifters, or Premium Shapeshifters rated 90 or higher. In addition, Cover Star, Roberto Carlos on a 20-23 game loan. So, uh, that's a really interesting pack. That's definitely not a loan pack. I don't know why it's named Roberto Carlos Cover Star Icon Loan. Because a 10-85, 85-10, and then one 90 plus Tots, Tots Moments, Shapeshifter, or Premium Shapeshifter only from Brazil... That's a very interesting pack. So that's to me, seems like a store pack, but we'll have to see where that drops in the game today, if it does drop at all. And 87 times 10 footies re-release batch one pack as well. 87 times 10. Guys, this pack is going to be full of winter wild cards and uh, centurions and maybe the off chance that a team of the year icon like, you know, Dino or... Hull it. That's going to be the reason to open that pack. But that's interesting. And then another sweeping stars pack with uh, 50 gold rare players, 586 plus, and a 150 players pack with three players, 89 plus added to the code. I don't expect to see all these today. You guys know pack code added. This is probably going to take us throughout into the next week of footies. But that Roberto Carlos is really interesting. Could we see an SBC? or objective for one of these cards starting today? Maybe. I hope they make this a part of week two of footies, bringing these new icons in. The last SBC I want to point out to you guys, we're going to have to keep this one stored in the back of our minds. This might be our next icon upgrade. 92 plus, foot birthday, team of the year, trophy titans, and shapeshifter icon attacker only. We're getting to that point of the year, and finally, where we have position-specific icon upgrades. Striker, center forward, left wing, right wing, for those 92 plus icon cards of the special version. So that's a very interesting pack. I'm excited to try to open one of those later on. That would give you your best chance yet at packing somebody really, really massive uh, from one of those icon teams. So that's, you know, SBCs, packs, objectives, all the stuff that we could see today in the game. I just look for the icon, the card design. It is not yet here in the game. It is not show in the menus just yet. But if that is coming today, it'll probably start to show up in the menus pretty soon. Guys, I'm a little worried that today's content might be seen as an L, right? Last week, we were all excited. It was footies, but then we learned the cards were in packs. It was a big letdown, and I feel like today is just going to be, okay, what's EA going to try to do to make footies exciting today, but it's actually not going to be that good. I really feel like it's going to take a big player SBC, whether it's an icon or another footies premium card. The cards and packs for footies are going to have to be somewhat packable, uh, which I don't see that really happening either. Or they're going to have to add some other sort of like player pick or like a year in review type of player pick SBC right now. I feel like could help out the menu grind and could bring some excitement back as well. Um, this footies batch one player pick is going to be here for another week, of course, since batch one players are still in packs. So again, I don't have super crazy high expectations today, but I'm, ho I'm hoping that EA surprise us a little bit with something. Now let's talk about the market. Let's talk about prices on this game because as expected, 
Uh, we'll talk about fodder first, actually, and then we'll talk about the level ups. But fodder prices are down maybe a little bit from where they were, right? 84s were above 4K, now they're 3.6. 85s are back to the 5K range, just below 6. 86s are down just a little. That's kind of how the fodder market is right now, down just a a little yet marquee matchups today you've got weekend league rewards that people will be opening before the content drop today fodder is going to be a very interesting place to watch today because it's been moving every single day and if you want to try to make some coins on fodder today think about it right we're going to have some supply in the earlier parts of the morning as people get their weekend league done right away and they open those rewards but what do we have every single day we've got fodder that is moving prices of these cards fluctuate every single day because we've got all these SBCs and a lot of the SBCs, like we just talked about, the 84 times 10, the 86 plus player pick, refreshing today. The TOTS packs refreshing, right? They're, they're going to be available for people to do today too. So we're watching fodder today, guys. I really am interested in fodder today. And, um, you know, maybe if it dips low enough before content, you could get interested in, in buying a few of those cards. 88's at 12K. Like this, it says Kaylor Navas was 12,000 coins. That's really low. 88 at 11, 12K is really good. I mean, last week on Friday, if we could see here, uh, where was it at? Yeah, last week on Friday, just literally a week ago, these cards were at content. They were up, they dropped down a little bit, and then boom, they went up a lot into the weekend for a lot of those higher rated cards because we had so many SBCs. But it's not like we're getting, um, you know, a lot of the SBCs aren't expiring. A lot of the SBCs are still available right now, and fodder could drop a little bit today. But I also feel like when you see a bit of a drop on fodder, that might be the time to pounce because prices are probably going to go up throughout the weekend once again. And speaking of team of the season prices, they were what 36 37k last night when we looked on the video right now they are 32,000 coins and slightly dropping and uh it's all going to depend on content today if those keep going up really that sbc being repeatable three times a day is going to hurt a little bit of our investment opportunity here um i'm hoping these prices drop off a bit more during the weekend and maybe that gives us a better buy window so that they can maybe go up with better sbcs and better content later on during footies that's kind of one of the things that I hope for. We're just going to have to see. So I'm not really investing in team of the weeks or team of the seasons or really even fodder that much right now. I'm going to see what happens today heading into content and then we'll see what SBCs we get and then kind of go from there into the week. But of course, fodder is needed at the moment and it, there is high demand for it. So if you want to try to trade with that today, there will be ample opportunities to do so with more SBCs and coming now let's talk about these cards once again the level ups and it is d-day for these cards once again because just like last week we are expecting a lot of price drops like we saw on team one as the objectives are going away for level up team number two gretzka 530k Varane is 3.4 mil martinelli 425 we did a couple of quick flips with these guys yesterday on the stream uh what did i even buy martinelli at i think i bought martinelli at like was it 600k I bought Martinelli at uh, yeah 585 and sold him at 640 to 650, and now he's 425. Guys, I would probably steer clear of any of these unless you're trying to get it done as soon as you can. Steer clear of these guys because now is when we start to look at the minimum prices. 139k for Martinelli. If he gets close or near that today, uh, I would I wouldn't be surprised. Like Goretzka is only 200k off his minimum price. I would not be surprised if he goes there today. Chalmeni's minimum is 100k. He's 284. These guys are going to be down bad. Remember last week, KDB was like still three or four mil and then ended up being a million coins in Promo Friday. This Varane today is going to be one to keep an eye on. Still an, an insane, insane card. And we all know the level ups from Team 1 ended up going up a lot in price, right? Renato Sanchez is 1.07 mil on the market right now. He was at his minimum price, which was on Friday, 600K of last week. So... Keep a close eye on level up team two today. I would love to see them hit minimum price. I feel like people are going to remember last week though. And those cards maybe don't hit their minimum price today because everybody's going to expect them to go back up afterwards. So just be very careful with these. I'm not going to be investing until I see how low they go, but they should go pretty close to minimum price or, or darn near it, man. So I'm keeping an eye on those today, but those should be moving a lot on the market, of course, with all of the objectives for that going away. Now, in the off, crazy chance that EA would re-release the objectives for level up team one or team two. Those cards would go flying back to the market, up in price from the market, I mean. But that would be kind of a spur of the moment split uh, second decision you'd have to make. If you see that happen tomorrow or today at content, then you go back out and buy those cards. So be very careful with those. Now, last thing I want to cover is some news about EAFC 24, which it's been pretty quiet on that front recently. 
apart from the stuff last week. We've just been having the heroes, right? We got five more heroes released. Berbatov, probably the biggest name of all of those. One interesting thing to note here is Berbatov is a Bundesliga. You can see the Leverkusen crest on his, his image there. He's a Bundesliga hero for this item. Like we saw with earlier cards in FIFA 23 with like... Um, the Alloweyren World Cup, now nah, that's a bad example. Lucio World Cup was Bundesliga, or, or sorry, Syria, and then switched to Bundesliga for his World Cup. Um, maybe Berbatov's base hero will be Premier League, and this one's going to be Bundesliga. We don't exactly know, but that's just something to throw out there. Uh, we've got Bon Pastor as well from the top league. Um, Olympic Lyon is, is the club, but the top women's league, so like League One, but for the women's side of things. Um, I forget the name of that right now. I have to look it up. Uh, you've got Litmanen, who's heir to busy with a freaking sick image here of him holding an owl. That's a really, really cool hero card. 89 rated, 89 rated Ruby Costa, uh, Serie A and Portugal. And then you've got Paulo Futre, uh, Fast Futre or Future. Nice one there from EA. He is Liga Portugal and also 89 rated. Uh, again, ratings are a little bit low here. So I don't have high expectations, but I'm hopeful for... I don't know, just hopefully that EA boosts up the stats on those cards a little bit. But then, you know, a couple of guys in the stream yesterday are making a really good point. If the ratings for those cards now are a little lower, that maybe just gives EA more opportunities to upgrade them throughout the year next year of EA FC 24 with promos and stuff like that. So that's kind of the news there. Not that much on the EA FC news front. We'll be covering some more EA FC news later on this weekend, though. So watch out for that. But for the here and now for today, hopefully EA do something nice. Come on, EA, something nice today. Surprise us. A 99 rated messy SBC. Make it expensive. We'll craft it. We'll do it. OK, we'll grind it. It's July, but it's a card that we want, all right? Do something special today, EA Sports. We'll be waiting for it. If you want to watch it, I'll drop and happen live. The link to the Twitch stream where we will be live watching all this content drop today, that is down in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow as well. It's been Nathan with Accountant. See you guys there. Peace out.